Controversy this morning surrounding Osceola County Sheriff Marcos Lopez. The sheriff was already facing criticism for not being transparent about a deadly deputy shooting outside of a target. One group is calling on him to resign, all while a high profile local attorney is calling for a federal investigation into another incident. This one leaving a man with burns to three quarters of his body. Mark Lehman is live outside of the sheriff's office this morning. And Mark, in both of these cases, critics say the sheriff is withholding information. They say the sheriff refuses to be transparent and the information he is providing is misleading. Those critics now issuing further calls for justice and change. Weeks after Osceola County deputies shot and killed a man and wounded two others after an alleged shoplifting incident, there's a push for a federal investigation. We are demanding that the DOJ take over this investigation. Pastor Carl Soto with Black Lives Matter calling for Sheriff Marcos Lopez to resign over his lack of transparency, saying it was clear the shooting wasn't justified. This after the FDLE has said there's nothing preventing him from talking about the case. He refused to provide the public with at least preliminary brief information uh, or an explanation as to why his deputies fired multiple rounds in a car. This coming as Mark Nijame, who represents the men who were shot, is calling on the Justice Department to investigate Lopez on a separate case in February. Nijame says 26-year-old Gene Barreto was tackled by a deputy at a gas station and then tased by another deputy, which sparked a fire. Barreto was badly burned during the takedown, which investigators say happened after he fled a felony traffic stop. So far, the sheriff isn't commenting further on that case as well. Attorney Mark Nijame saying there are a lot of questions that need to be answered about the policies of the sheriff's office. He will be holding a news conference at 1.30 this afternoon. We'll stream that for you live on ClickOrlando.com. For now, reporting live in Osceola County, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.